Good yeah. <laughs> Good <laughs> With authority. Aloha. Welcome to the Most Muscles in Podcast in Barry Sports. This is ABC7 Sports. With authority. We have a huge guest today. Eric Carlson, all-star defenseman of the San Jose Sharks. A couple things jumped out to me when we taped the podcast interview. Uh, his cursing. His cur- he, he curses more than Casey does. Uh, out of control. So you're going to hear a lot of bleeps. Actually, it wasn't that bad. But uh, how his dad, in a most unique fashion, convinced him he did not want to be a goaltender when playing hockey. And now this is one of those controversial areas, but uh, why he often dresses up as a girl. <laughs> is that teasing too much? That is a very good yeah. tease. I mean, this is a two-time Norris Trophy winner, a six-time All-Star, one of the best hockey players on the planet. We may have mentioned hockey in this interview once or twice. We, you know, he was a great sport because he didn't know us from a hole in the wall, and he's still <laughs> probably is like... Who were those two idiots? <laughs> but he had fun. But he had fun. He had and a he, bleeping good time. He had a, a, a bleeping blast, I would say. Without further ado, the all-star, Eric Carlson. So, first of all, thanks for joining us. We appreciate your time. Yeah. 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 I'm going to start out by asking you a question I've never asked anybody before, and I certainly have not asked any man this question before. Okay. Right. Uh, how is your groin? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Since yeah. you had a serious injury. Yeah. yeah. I've had that question asked a lot of times. Yeah. So it should be pretty standard. No, it's good. It's good. Uh, everything went well. Found a great surgeon. Done it many times before. And, uh, you know, I'll be ready to rock by uh, October 2nd. Is that, is that a scary injury? I mean, no. you, you got to push off. I, I've had some scary ones. This was this was nothing. The, uh, the lacerated Achilles? Yeah, that was scary. Don't recommend that. That's the thing you see in horror, horror movies. You know when they sit under the bed and just with the scissor cut it off. That Oof. type of shit. <clears throat> That's Oof. not good. Yeah, we try not to curse on the podcast too much. Eric. That's not a curse word. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. a natural thing. That is. Is that the, the way yeah. it is? is he, yeah. uh, see Leonard. Here, I'm our also. Producer? Euro- I'm also European, so I get a little bit of leeway. Is there more cursing in Europe generally? No, but I don't. You know, this is not my main language, so I need to fill out the the sentences sometimes with some words, and usually the bad ones come easy. <laughs> we actually learned last week. Our guest last week told us that that smart people curse more. Yeah, it's more I'd like, like an to say that thing. I, cur- so, yeah. I, I probably curse a little bit too much sometimes. Yeah. I don't mean anything by it, but it's just it's fill out words sometimes, and you know, it's expression and whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'll try and uh, keep it to a minimum. Uh, That's okay. No, here. no, we, we uh, it's not live, so you can curse. Oh, so you can beep it out? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> just to, you can just go <laughs> on a rant. Yeah. No. I hate you, bleeping guys. Yeah. This is the stupidest questions you yeah. bleep, 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 bleeps ever asked. Yeah, yeah. yeah so perfect. go for that. All so right. we're good. That's going to be question five, by oh, the way. Okay. What good. do you got? Well, we started really heavy, obviously, with Larry asking you about your groin. But <laughs> how frustrating was that for you in that situation where you could be like a huge yeah, difference I maker? I mean, that's, uh, that's just got to piss you off, right? Yeah, terrible timing. Uh, but again, you can't do anything about it. It's, it's out of your control. Uh, you know, I try and live by. You control the things that you can. And the things that you can't, you just got to live by. You know, mm-hmm. it's it's not only us as athletes or or, uh, you know, people in our position, it's everyday life. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, um, I did the best I could with what I had, and um, I try and view it like that. But obviously, yeah, it, uh, it uh, wasn't fun, and I wish uh, it wouldn't have happened, but uh, unfortunately it did. When you look at some of the injuries that hockey players endure, like I remember a couple of years ago, Joe Thornton basically had a broken foot and was playing through it with an infection and all this stuff. And, like, they glued his foot together so he could play. Uh, And then you see some, and I'm not asking you to bash other sports, but are hockey players by far the toughest when you look at professional athletes? No? I mean, I don't know. It's it's all I know, right? And you hear a lot of things, uh, you know, in different sports, but you don't really know. Um, You know, it's it's tough to to, to play basketball if you can't use your hands, for instance, because... You have no no shot. If you can't run, it's harder to run, I would have to say, uh, with something that's not right probably than it is to skate. Uh, but, yeah, I would like to say in general, uh, you know, the things that I've seen guys go through and play through in our sport is, is tremendous. And, uh, you know, what I've read about different sports when they don't play through is, is doesn't sound as significant. But 
again, you never know, right? I, I don't know how it is to, to play other sports with, with certain injuries since, uh, you know, all I do is play hockey. What's the worst hockey injury that you've seen? Uh, that like, I've seen? And a guy come back from. Uh, like, I don't know. Like, I mean, there's a lot of, like, it, it's hard to compare one to another. I think every injury is, to itself is, is difficult. But, um, you know, you've, you've definitely seen some things that, uh, you know, you did not expect guys to come back from as quickly or, or as, as, as good as, as, you know, you would have thought. I'm amazed, like, a guy gets a puck in the face and loses four teeth and all yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's all fixable. That's not a big issue. <laughs> <laughs> if I lose a tooth, I'm out for, like, a month here. Yeah. I mean, yeah, and that's TV, you know, a yeah. lot of makeup. You know, that that, is, you know how that yeah. goes. Yeah, yeah. That anything that, you know, that you break that you can fix, or don't, like, the face is fine. If you lose an eye, then it's tough. <laughs> you know, but so anything, anything else is fine. Anything short of losing yeah. your eye, you're okay. Yeah, you're yeah. Good. Okay, all right. Yeah. It's good to know where the line is drawn. Yeah. Speaking of a person that did take a puck and lose four teeth, come back and help the team, Joe Pavelski. Obviously, yeah. he is now with a different team. You have a new captain in Logan Couture. What does that kind of do to the team? How do you rally around Logan? What does he bring to the table now in that leadership role? No, I mean, he's he's been here since, uh, you know, his first day uh, as a pro. He's been in our organization for a long time. He's been a key player here for a long time. And, you know, he's gone through a lot of things with this organization. Um, you know, seeing a guy like Pavelski leave, uh, you know, playing as a big role as he did, uh, it, it's, it's going to hurt a bit. You know, it's going to be some transitional, uh, you know, period of time for that. Uh, but again, I do think that the core players that are here has been here long enough that, you know, that that shouldn't be uh, too painful, even though it's going to to sting for a while that, you know, he's not going to be with us. And, and um, that's just the nature of things. You know, I come from a different uh, team and, you know, I've seen this type of things happen, uh, unfortunately, too many times. And uh, for me, I know how to handle it. I'm not really sure how, how it's been here before. I think that the only guy that really left after that period of time was Patty Marlowe. And, you know, they seem to handle that pretty good. And, and uh, you know, again, it's just time. And, uh, you know, we're lucky to have such a strong group of players that's been here for as long as they have, including, you know, Couture and Hurdle and, uh, you know, Vasek, Bernsey, Jumbo still here. Um, so, yeah, I think that uh, it's going to be uh, an adjustment. But hopefully, uh, you know, it will go, go as smoothly as it can, even though it's going to be some, uh, some adjusting to do. Jumbo was a captain prior. Let me ask you this. This might be a stupid question, but aside from coming Probably. out and meeting the media <laughs> face on, don't swear, um, what does the captain do behind the scenes? No, I think that, <clears throat> you know, we all have different qualities, uh, you know, as, as individuals, as humans, and uh, we all contribute, you know, in different ways. I do think that, you know, everybody leads a little bit different. Um, you know, it's uh, it doesn't matter how similar they might, you know, play on the ice or whatever, but... Um, it's going to be a little bit of a different, you know, uh, approach probably from uh, a lot of different angles uh, with Pavelski gone, um, you know, and it's going to be a little bit of a transition time for, for that to happen. But at the end of the day, I think that, you know, uh, we, all, we all come to this level uh, for a reason because, you know, we are who we are and we are uh, leading figures, uh, whether you play on the fourth line or the first line. And, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, at the end of the day, I think that everybody helps helps out, you know, within the team to uh, to do that. Uh, you know, obviously Logan is going to be the front man for it. And he has a lot of great qualities that, you know, he picked up on uh, throughout his career and uh, things that, you know, uh, the team is going to need uh, to see from him to uh, to be able to do what they need to do to help others. When did you know for sure that you were going to come back as a Shark? Because when the season ended, obviously the, the playoffs there had to be some disappointment there. You got hurt late, and then you don't really know what's coming. But you didn't enter a free agency going around visiting a bunch of teams and taking all these offers. And what sold you? Did you know before the season ended, like, I want to stay here? If no, I think out. we always wanted to stay. Uh, you know, that was a decision that kind of built up throughout the year. Uh, I think it was important for us to have that year. Uh, to see how it was, uh, you know, when we made the ultimate decision where to stay for, you know, the next coming seven or eight years. And, uh, you know, the things that we saw here we liked. Uh, I don't think that any place is perfect. Uh, but the good thing about being here is that you know the pros and you know the cons. And, and I think that uh, at the end of the day, uh, you know, we made the, the, the best decision that we felt was, uh, you know, for me personally and, you know, for the organization as well. So, uh, you know, we were happy that uh, we got the opportunity to stay here for another eight. What are the pros? What are the cons? Oh, 
there's a long list that we're not going to go through. Oh, no, <laughs> no, but I mean, there's always like, there's no perfect place in the world, no matter where you live or, uh, you know, how much you make or whatever it might be. Uh, that Traffic. Pla- that, yeah. Traffic. That, Traffic. <laughs> that place doesn't exist, right? Uh, but it's nice knowing, you know, what the good things are and what uh, the not so good things are. And, and I think that, uh, you know, the positive outweigh the negative there. Oh, you did a good job dodging that. Oh, great! Yeah. Eh? No, I you, told you, 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 no, you, t- you yeah. said it before we said it. I told down. you. Yeah, I'll just yeah. dodge any questions if I don't want to answer. If gives us an answer he doesn't like, we can just bleep it out anyways. Yeah, That's, yeah. yeah no, right. if you just you probably now won't. that you've set the tone. Yeah. If, no, if you just curse through your answer, <laughs> yeah, it's going to make it tough for us to get a good <laughs> sentence. So that is true. That's another strategy. That is true. How much easier is this year coming in? Having been here already, you already know the guys, you already know the team, you're used to the system. I mean, last year really had to come in and pick it up quick. Yeah, no, it's going to be completely different. Uh, you know, I think this year on a, on a personal level, you're more settled and uh, you don't have to worry about so much other than, uh, you know, playing hockey, which is uh, what we're getting paid for. Uh, so that's going to be nice. And, um, you know, I think that, uh, uh, you know, that awkward stage uh, was handled last year and, and now it's just, uh, you know, go time. Who makes it the most awkward in there? Ooh, there's a lot of awkward people there. <laughs> yes. I think you know, uh, Jumbo. Jumbo is a, is can be a little bit awkward, but if you get to know him, uh, you take it with a grain of salt. And and you know him and Burns, you have a, a few things going for themselves that are probably a little bit abnormal. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, to say the least. I can think of one. You never yeah. wanted to go with the beard, uh, kind of a ZZ Top-like thing? You've, uh, you've got a more manicured I, yeah, look. Yeah, I can't, though. Uh, this is as good as it gets, uh, so that's where I'm at. Uh, you know, you play the cards that you have, and this is, you know, the hand I was dealt. I think most people would take the hand that uh, you've been dealt. <laughs> um, so I saw a story, and uh, you never know on the Internet what's no, real or what's not. Never know. But the story of you when you were a little kid, you posted a picture on your Instagram, and you wanted to be a goalie, apparently, as a little kid, yeah. and your dad had a unique way of curing that yeah. notion. So what did, what did dad do? The old school way. You know, mm-hmm. so you're how old? I was six, probably. Oh, yeah, six. You know, not very big, small kid, and um, yeah, I wanted to be a goalie because it was cool to you know have all the equipment and you know the mask and you saw all the other guys, you know, the older guys. It, it was just cool being a goalie. You know, it's not very smart to be a goalie, but it's cool. And at six years old, you don't know that, right? And um, you know, he was coaching and. He decided that uh, you know I was not going to be a goalie. So uh, you know he was coaching at the time, and uh, I was in net, and he shot the puck as hard as he could, and it hit me uh, right in the chest. And you know in 1996, goalie equipment for you know <laughs> a village of uh, thousand people, you know <laughs> 15 play hockey. It's it's not the best. It was probably hay in there at the time. Oh no! <laughs> so it's, it stung, and uh, it stung a bit, and uh, ever since then. Uh, no, I never wanted to be a goalie again, and, and uh, you know, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so he, you still have the mark from? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. Grew out of that, cried for a bit, yeah. got no attention, and then, uh, yeah, you know, that was history. So yeah. tough love. Tough, tough love, love yeah, old school way. Uh, you know, in my opinion, that was the right way at the time. Uh, no cameras, nothing, no publicity. <laughs> <laughs> fun to talk. fun to talk about now, but... Yeah, it's one of those funny stories that we have, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for it today. Yeah, how much credit, after the fact, do you give your dad? He was obviously right. Yeah, he was. Uh, you know, he was just trying to guide me the right way and uh, in the right direction, and uh, somehow, you know, I'm sitting here talking to you guys for a reason, so, uh, you know, I think that uh, he, he knew a little bit about what he was doing. It's, it all worked out. Yeah, it all worked out. You know, it could have also gone the other way. I could have quit, right? But I did Did you cry? Yeah, uh, probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. There's really an upper body did, injury. Yeah, that's an upper, upper body. body no, yeah. they wouldn't even disclose that no, today. No. They would say <laughs> no. lower body yeah. to throw everybody. When, upper body. When when you see that, uh, like on an opponent's list of injuries, do you try to figure out what's really going on, no. or not? Not you do whatever. No. I mean, these like these days and ages, like with the cameras and replays and stuff. I think that at the end, like everybody knows if it's a shoulder, or if it's whatever. It's sometimes you don't really know, but. At the, like it doesn't really matter I think I think it's just one of those uh, you know old school ways and traditions whatever that's why you say that but again everybody kind of knows what what it is and uh, it's just yeah it's just a hockey yeah thing. it's just yeah. a thing I think in all pro sports it's just a thing yeah everybody's trying to disguise their yeah. injuries and it gives you guys something to talk about too yeah, yeah we just speculate all day yeah that's, that's all we do yeah, that's, that's, people we love, love speculating yeah, um, 
Let me ask you this. I want to take it back earlier a little bit to a previous question. You said there's pros and cons to signing an eight-year deal, which obviously is amazing. What was the moment, though? Was there a moment in particular that you kind of fell in love with this team? No, I mean, it's a beautiful place here. Uh, I think, you know, the living situation here, except the taxes are great. Uh, <laughs> I feel so the same way. Yeah, you I want to curse yeah, about the taxes? I, I, yeah, I think I'd everybody like does, but, <laughs> you know, that's just the, the price you pay sometimes. Yeah. But I think, you know, at the end of the day, me and my family, we're happy living here. Uh, you know, we're happy coming home every day, and, uh, you know, that, that plays a big part. And, and if you're going to have success or not, you have to enjoy where you're at. And, um, you know, I think it, it was one of those decisions that kind of, uh, you know, grew uh, throughout the year. Uh, you know, with my injury, kind of stalled it a little bit. Uh, the talks about it, and um, you know, I didn't have to discuss it very much. So I think that's why uh, you know the speculations of me leaving were so highly, because uh, you know everybody was just uh, concentrating on on you know me being able to play, uh, come back and play hockey again. How weird Which is that? Nice. When you hear all that, all that noise, all the speculation, yeah. all the rumors, and it's like you know what's you get going a on. I come I come from Canada too, yeah. where I lived it for for ten years, where it's uh, this is nothing. Yeah. You know, so this uh, for me was uh, uh, one of the easiest things I've ever gone through, even though it probably should have been a very difficult time. Do you sit back and laugh, though, with your friends, family, like people you know, just going, what is this? Come yeah, on. I know. Sometimes we do, you know, because <laughs> we know what's true and what's not. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's just the, the, the way that it is these days. You know, people like to talk about other people and, um, you know, uh, I just let them and, and, and I stick to myself. Yeah. So you're in the South Bay now. You mentioned earlier that you grew up in a town of about a thousand yeah. in Sweden. Yeah. What's the name of the city? Landsbro. Landsbro. Yeah. And so the transition, like, did you ever envision you would go from like that's like yeah, one, one yeah. block in San Jose is a thousand people. I know. I know. No, it was very, very different. Uh, you know, upbringing obviously than uh, you would have if you if you grow up here. Uh, but I think you know, I moved away when I was seventeen to a bigger city, to Gothenburg in Sweden. Uh, it took me some time to adjust to that, and then from there, you know, I moved uh, to to Canada and Ottawa when I was 19, and had to figure all that out. So I think, you know, the the, the time of my like the time I'm in right now, you know, the experience that I've had, uh, you know, this move wasn't that hard uh, for me. I think uh, maybe a little bit more on my wife, uh, since that was the first time she ever moved away from home. But uh, at the end of the day, I think that uh, you know I'm I'm in a good place in my life where uh, you know the transition. Uh, know wasn't as drastic as uh, you know it was when when I moved when I was 17 and 19. Do you like the fact that I mean the Sharks you see producer Scott here I mean he's he would stalk you if he had a chance he would he probably already is yeah, you yeah. just don't know we, we about just, it. We just don't know. Yeah, you, so you have this rabid <laughs> uh, fan base out there but you could still go out. I'm mean, with your looks. Yeah. I mean, with your yeah, looks, I don't get away. Yeah, much, no, yeah. you're. I mean, you've got a, the distinctive hair and everything. But it, you know, if you were to go out in Ottawa, um, yeah. you'd be just mod yeah. everywhere. So, do you like it that it's a little bit more mellow here? And yeah, I mean, again, it's it's it has its pros and cons, right? I mean, to be able to play in the market that I was for so long is is a pretty special thing. Uh, you know, when it's so passionate and everybody knows exactly who you are and what you did and what you ate the next or the day before mm. and stuff like that. Yeah, it tires you out sometimes and it's a lot of work, uh, but you know, the reward is also very special. Uh, whether it's here, you know, it's nice to be able to go out and do your own thing. But at the same time, you know, you don't really get, uh, you know, that feeling that you did playing in Canada. Uh, so it, it's good and bad with both. Yeah. I'm happy that I've been able to experience both of them. You know, I can take the, the best parts from, from both places and, and you know, um, so it's yeah, it's different, but uh, you know, it's 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 mostly good. Yeah. I like I like being a little bit secluded now. Yeah, you know, <laughs> after being uh, living like that for ten years. Yeah, Scott knows what you had for breakfast. Oh, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's been watching. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, Eggs. You, you understand? Yeah, yeah. 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 There we go. Yeah. Um, you might not remember this, but we do the Warriors post game shows for the NBA Finals. Yeah. One of our shows, you were just standing right there behind our set. Yeah, and you didn't even say hi. <laughs> no, we did. We were, we're trying, trying to get, to get you. We were no. trying to get you. You were on crutches. Yeah. And we felt bad for you. No, you felt bad. I, but you were standing <laughs> there. Well, so I didn't feel that bad. We were like, we should get him uh, on. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, I mean, how nice is it to have someone like Jonas Drebko, someone that you could, I probably pronounce that probably. Yeah. No, it was great. Europe, it was but. great for me. You know, uh, we didn't have any other pro sports in, in Ottawa, uh, you know, so that's something that I really appreciate because I do appreciate, uh, you know, other athletes and things that they do. And I got really into basketball last year for, uh, you know, some reason. And, and you know, mostly because I, I got to know Jonas and, uh, you know, he was kind enough to bring me out to the to the games and, and you know, be around them a bit. Um, so hopefully I can keep that interest going and, 
<laughs> get to know someone else since he's gone. Yeah, <laughs> so that would be nice. Uh, but yeah, it was. Uh, I had a lot of fun and I really enjoyed it, even though you know they didn't end up winning. Don't be offended by this, but when we saw you in the background and he was talking to me, he was in you know telling me you know in my ear, and I said, oh, well, he's on crutches yeah. and he's walking the other way. And he's probably leaving anyway. So what are we going to talk to him about? Yeah, he probably I, would have took me five minutes to get back to you. Well, so no, yeah, like, yeah, I let him go. No, but we thought, you know, he's a free agent. Just like all the stories yeah. were out there, like, oh, he's going to yeah. be an ex shark. So what? That's going to be yeah. Awkward. What does it matter? Yeah, let yeah. him walk. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> let him hobble off. Yeah. With his, uh, was the Achilles your worst injury? Yeah, probably. I have a bad Achilles right now. What'd you do to fix it? Well, if you have, if it's just bad, you can't do anything, right? Oh, if it snap, if it snaps, you can it's fix strained. it. Yeah, it's strained. strained. Yeah, time, time. You know, he likes to talk about it all the time. Too. Yeah, is there, any way, to fix, is there any way to fix that? No, no. there's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, some pa- some painkillers. Yeah, I've got an international yeah. question for you. Yeah, because you know I'm international. That, that, yeah. Exactly. Well, that's yeah. what I thought. Yeah, yeah. I can't use it on anybody else here. So Sweden, and then you're in Canada for like a decade, yeah. and then you're, now you're in the United States. Yeah, and, um, I've been everywhere. You have been everywhere. So have you had a moment where you could not find your passport? Yes. Uh, no, I've always been able to find it, but I forgot it once on a trip hmm. when I was in Ottawa when I was young. We bussed to Montreal, played in Montreal, and then we flew out of Montreal to Washington. And we got to the airport in Montreal, and I didn't have my passport. Oh, no. But you can get a temporary one for one trip a year, I think. So they figured it out. just took some time. I got yelled at by the general manager and the coach in front of everyone, and then probably cried a little bit, and uh, <laughs> never done it again. <laughs> so that cured you. Yeah. I always, I, I'm always paranoid when I travel abroad because... I don't want to put the the passport just in the safe or in a hotel room because I think well if somebody could break in there. Yeah. So then I'm I'm yeah. carrying it around, which is probably much worse. Yeah. Probably. So what do you do? What's the passport international passport travel yeah. recommendation? No, I always leave it. I never you, okay. I never carry it. Okay. You know, because even if something happens, then you know where it is, and even if you go to jail, whatever, you know where it is, and uh, they can't take it from you. <laughs> uh, interesting. Go to jail yeah, was your yeah. first, the first thing that popped well, into your mind. What else would you really need it unless the police stops you for some reason or whatever that's, it might be? You know, that's a good point. That's right? all right. So I should leave it. <laughs> like if the if the clerk that you're buying a beer from asks you for your passport, you say no, I don't have it, and mm. if they say, well, then you can't buy a beer. You say, okay, well, what are you gonna do? But if the cops do it, you'd be like, okay, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in one. <laughs> yes. Let's go back to my hotel. Listen, yeah. you know, I'm just always paranoid of losing it. And that's yeah, I know. No, I don't do that. I'm really good with that stuff. Any other I teammates? Never lose, I never lose anything. Teammates bad at that? Like if you have one guy that always loses his passport? No, not right? that I can think you of. Guys, right it's now. all taken care yeah, of. Yeah, we're, we're pretty responsible with that. It's just one of those things that you have to be, I think, from a young age. And, and you know, we kind of learn that, you know, you don't forget shit. Yep. Thank there you. Again, go. again, yeah. more cursing from <laughs> Eric Carlson. He's just he's out of control. Out of control. Did he curse in the previous interview, Ben? No, they no. also no. didn't ask me uh, questions no. like this. Oh, I, well, <laughs> when you talk like normally, yeah, I, I, they they conducted a normal professional yeah. interview. Yeah. We don't do that. Yeah. yeah, I can stay professional if you want, but then it won't. It's no. so boring. Yeah, it's it's so fun. so no. boring. No, yeah. that's fine. I've got a few more uh, odd questions. You want to ask him another hockey question? I I have no. a question. I more about kind of like what your off season's like. Like, what do you do? Outside yeah. of hockey, do you play other sports? Yeah, I play golf. golf. Yeah. I golf uh, quite a bit. I think that's my only thing that I really have right now mm-hmm. uh, that I put a lot of time towards. Uh, other than that, you know, just spend downtown with friends and family and, uh, you know, golf. That's pretty much all I do. And unfortunately, I have to work out now because that's what everybody does in the summer. Yeah. Who What's else golfs with you, though? I mean, on your yeah. team. Yeah, we have lots of golfers on the team. Yeah. Uh, usually, most, most guys golf. I would say we're probably 10 to 15 guys. Um, you What's know, your handicap? Oh, it's not very good. It's like ten, I think. It's respectable. Yeah. It's solid. Yeah, it's okay. I haven't played long enough, um, and I lived in Winterland for ten years. Yeah, makes yeah. a lot yeah. of sense. I didn't yeah. have much time, but hopefully now I can, uh, you know, get it going a bit and, uh, you know, challenge the good guys. Have you seen Evander Kane's picture in the body issue of ESPN the magazine? Uh, I haven't seen the magazine, but I, I have seen the pictures. If they asked you to do that type of photo shoot, would you be open to that? No. No. No, it's not my thing. Cancel okay. the shoe later. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we have a whole room set up. Yeah. No, no, I mean it's a great thing uh, that they're doing, but uh, it's 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 not for me. Did you like 
Kane's version of that better than uh, Jumbo and Brett. They did. I think they did yeah, a they tandem did photo. Yeah, yeah. There's the, the, there's the really awkwardness. Yeah, <laughs> I don't really remember theirs because I I wasn't here at the time, yeah. so uh, it's hard to compare. Uh, but no, I haven't. Uh, you know, living in Canada too, we didn't really get that much ESPN stuff. Yes, ES, ESPN. Yeah. ESPN. ESPN. Yeah. ESPN. So you know, it wasn't really. Yeah. Okay. I didn't really follow it closely enough to to answer that. Let's let's finish with some strong hockey material here. Sharks have gotten close, have not been able to get over the top. What is it going to take to bring the Stanley Cup to San Jose? Yeah, a lot of things. I mean, I think that, uh, you know, I haven't either really been in a position in my career where I've been super close. You know, I've been to two conference finals, and, you know, last year here and, and, and once with Ottawa. So, uh, but I think uh, at the end of the day, you know, I think that the... the it's gotta you gotta put the work in and and you gotta you know create some luck for yourself uh, during the playoffs. It's it's gonna be close. I think the hardest thing to do now is get into the playoffs. And once you're in the playoffs, you know there's 16 teams that can win it. Whether you ended up you know first in the standings or eighth in the standings, that doesn't really matter anymore. So once you get in there, uh, you know you gotta be able to stay healthy. I think that's an important thing, something you can't control. Right. And uh, you know you gotta. You got to be on the right side of uh, you know a few calls and and a few few bounces. Uh, that's how tight it is. Uh, but yeah, if if you build the right foundation throughout the year and, and you believe in your team and and you get in the playoffs fairly healthy, um, you know the team that we have, I feel like our our chances should be very strong. What about pressure? I know that everybody has pressure, but Joe Thornton coming back one more year. I mean, how bad do you guys want to get that for him? Yeah, I think everybody does. Uh, not only you know people in our team. He's he's one of those guys that uh, you know. Uh, you know, stuck out it for this is his 22nd year. Mm -hmm. He's he's been a tremendous player in this league, and uh, you know we all want him want him want to see him win. He's a winner, uh, even though he hasn't won a cup. And uh, you know that's obviously going to be one of our our main goals, if not the only goal that we're going to have. You know, going into the start of the season is you know we're going to talk about winning the cup and nothing else. All right. I know from your Instagram, you like to dress up sometimes in costume. I've seen oh, some stuff. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you to my dear wife for that. Oh. She started that. <laughs> Halloween is coming up. Yeah, I know. Oh. Do you have something planned that's going to be big? Um, yeah, she probably does. She doesn't Oh, she didn't tell you? No, she doesn't usually let me know. She loves dressing me up as a girl, though. That's the. <laughs> I've noticed that over the course of the years. That's the main theme. Eric needs to be a girl. So, <laughs> well, you have the I hair. I know. I have the hair. I had the facial before. I didn't have the facial hair. It was even worse. Then I really looked like a girl. Uh, but yeah, it'll definitely be something in that genre. Question is, I don't know what characters right now or what's in right now would be, uh, you know, a girl. But uh, definitely be me on on Halloween. I would assume <laughs> you're going to be a girl for Halloween. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> most likely. You know, somebody's going to grab this and redistribute this. Yeah, Eric Carlson, yeah. girl for Halloween. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, no, that's... she's uh, she's huge into that, and I I think it's fun. You know, it's the one time of year where, uh, you know, no one gets judged, and you can be whatever you want to be. Uh, you or know, without your wife wants yeah, to be. exactly, whatever someone else wants you to be. But yeah, I, I think it's fun. Uh, I didn't grow up with that culture, uh, so you know I embraced it, and I think it's it's awesome. You, I, I saw a video. It didn't click for me until I saw the picture. But Pirates of the Caribbean, Johnny Depp. I know I mean, that's it's just that like that's a layup for you I know. as a costume. It would be an easy one, but she won't let. I can't <laughs> do it, so I don't know. I gotta find one of these years. Maybe I can do it. Oh, I get to do it during the uh, what's it? The Gasparilla in Tampa for the All Star Game once. Nice. Uh, I was lucky enough to do it, so I've done it, dressed up as a pirate. So that was fun, uh, and she wasn't charged. She or was charged, not, yeah. yeah. She just had to accept it and go with it. So it was good. Uh, but yeah, that that would be a layup. Uh, I mean, but it's I mean, very, so it's similar. fun sometimes to go outside the box too and do something yeah. different. Okay, so you know? maybe I should be a girl for Halloween too. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah, it's why not? If you're comfortable with yourself, then why not? Doesn't matter, right? Still yourself. Yeah, yeah no, it's, I'm not quite there yet. No. <laughs> we'll be ready with all the cameras. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm sure, yeah, yeah we'll no. Be, this we'll year. be ready. All right. I think we're done. I think we're good. I Except think unless you want to ask about his shoes. He's yeah. got the best shoes. Well, we can't see him, but yeah, let's, see them. how do oh, we describe? So it's like a plaid with a wolf, and it's red. Like red plaid with a wolf. They're amazing. Yeah. They're really amazing good. shoes. They're cool. They're fantastic. And you, yeah. you said you were a Game of Thrones fan, right? Yeah. Uh, did you like the way it ended? Yeah. I mean, I read the books before the... The five books that are out before the show started, um, so you know, unfortunately, I, I would have liked the books to have been out before 
you know, the show sure, finished. Sure. Yeah, uh, I think those will be a little bit different, but I don't mind the show I uh, or the ending. I think that no matter what ending you did, you know, with the, the show that you had that was so successful, you can't really, you know, uh, in two episodes at the end, you know, fill up the whole whole season that, you know, they had. Uh, so Favorite I character? Mean, uh, yeah, who'd you identify most with? I don't know. I like John. I mean, everybody likes John, John Snow. Snow. How can right. you not? Yeah. You know, he's... He's a good man, and he has to make some bad decisions, which I think goes for a lot of people in the world. Fair enough. Good yeah. way to finish up. Yeah. Thanks so much for coming in. This I'm is so a real political. treat. I'm yeah. so political. No, well, you know, <laughs> you, know you, you, you walk the line. Yeah. A little bit of cursing, but yeah. we got a little. We extracted some yeah. things. You yeah. like dressing up as a girl, yeah. and uh, so. all those fun things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one clip we we'll use. Yeah. No, yeah, that's yeah. the one that we're gonna blow that up. But uh, thanks so much for coming. Yeah. No, I appreciate thanks it. Having yeah. Appreciate yeah. It. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Good yeah. <laughs> Good I hope you're going to be able to contain yourself. I mean, every interview, you're going to have to bleep and bleep and bleep and bleep. Is this the new you? Like, you Carlson? I didn't start this. Uh, well, you well, in the end, I did. You finished yeah, it. Yeah, I did finish it. We should mention, uh, mention Eric Carlson, by the way, uh, just signed a new eight-year, $92 million contract. We didn't really get into the, the dollar details while we were taping it. I thought it, it would be prying, you know, like, yeah. what are you going to do with all your money now that you're rich? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> You know who can use some money? Us. Yeah. We need money. Yeah, let's get those sponsors Give going. Give us that. Yeah. And if we could get your help, just click the little button. Yeah, subscribe. 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 That's how we get ours like Eric Carlson. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we'll do this podcast for eight more years for you if you do that. I, I don't know why I, I felt more strongly about pursuing the female clothing aspect of the interview than the money. This seems a little bit odd now that I'm thinking about it. But by the way, the Sharks open the new season October the 2nd. Team Teal, maybe this is the year they get over the top. I'd like to see the cup at the SAP Center That would San be Jose. wonderful. If yeah. you want to help us get over the top, iTunes. Yes. Spotify. SoundCloud, Google Play, and of course, YouTube. And you can always go to abc7news.com slash with authority to check us out anytime. Next week, big guest. Again, who is who is Robert the Ghost Guerrero, one of my all-time favorites. Does he knock you out? <laughs> I'd like to see that. <laughs> we'll find out. I would pay to see that. I won't cross the like pay-per-view. It'd be bleeping great. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end. Aloha! With authority!